How you guys doing today? With our upcoming election, I want to make sure that I reach out to as many of our young people as possible to make sure that they are more open-minded and less emotional when it comes to their voting. The internet has proved that the most prevalent racial slur in the world is the N-word. Let's take a look at Charleston White and Tupac. They both say some amazing things that feel good, but ultimately leaves us in the quicksand. Assumption, people want to hear things in a way that they can relate to. But the fact is, people do want to hear things in a way that they can relate to. But they want it to be respectful. They want it to be clean. They want it to be transferable to another level. And lastly, it calls them to immediate action. So we're talking about a church or street preacher versus a motivational speaker. Let's say for instance, Charleston White talks about the virtues of a good woman to a group of young men. Let's just say that one of the young men related really positively to Charleston's speech. Then he goes straight home and beats his wife up. Mr. White's speech left him stuck in the quicksand. And this is why. My people gravitate towards people that are upfront and people that validate their existence. And these people up front, like Charleston White, unknowingly gives them excuses and reasons to underperform. When Mr. White uses the powerful N-word and profanity, it's like quicksand. He becomes an uncultured, unrefined, uneducated, immature street preacher. Now tell me, who wants to act when they're placed back into their comfort zone? Factually, Tupac was even worse. He rapped and said so many philosophical things that were right. Then he would turn around and say and do things that would force you into the quicksand. He was a professed gangbanger. He bragged about being shot. He had sex with a rival's wife and rapped about it. Street preacher, but still a leader when he was killed and college courses were offered in his honor. I still can't figure that out. Words like the N-word, swearing, name calling, they leave a lot of listeners in the quicksand. And this is all compounded by marketing tools and algorithms that give you more of what you want. So when you go out and vote this year, make sure that your vote is not stuck in the quicksand. Thank you very much.